once you have your download, you're going to open up the folder that it came with and you're going to locate your fade brush right here. All you have to do is double click it and then you can see how it opened up my Photoshop. So that means that it is now in my brush palette at the very bottom. I should have a couple sets of it now. So these two, the last two. I wanted to go over a couple images and show you how to use it. First thing you're going to do is hit Shift Command N for a new layer. You're going to click your brush tool. Make sure that you're on one of the brushes. You're going to make sure that it's large enough to cover your image. And then you're going to hit Option to select a background color which will be the color of your fade brush. And then click. And now all you have to do is hit the eraser tool, a soft round brush, and all you have to do is go around and erase where you do not want your fade brush. like this. And what I like to also do sometimes is hit 10% and just erase a little bit around, which is going to kind of feather the whole area together. And then you're done with that. So that's the before and after. And I'm going to do a couple images just to show you how to do it a couple times. Shift Command N for a new layer. Make the brush bigger. Select your background color using Option. Click. And then erase. Make sure you're at 100% again. There's the before and after for that. Next image is this one. Making a new layer. Going on my brush, I'm going to make the brush a little bit smaller than that. Use this white tone as my background fade color. Click and then go on my eraser and simply erase. And just continue to erase. Like this. And once that's done, you can see the before and after. Next image is this one. I'm gonna pick this as my background color, make it a little bit smaller, make a new layer. and click and the reason I love using this fade brush for my newborn images or really any images that I need to do some sort of fade is because it is such a time saver it's very easy to do all you have to do is pick your color resize it and click it and then erase in the areas that you don't want it and then you're done. So here's the before the before and after. Next image right here you can see just a little bit of the fabric so we're gonna actually switch brushes 
and use the second one that it comes with. Make a new layer. So for this image right here, you can see how the fade brush does not cover the whole picture. So, and that's perfectly fine. I'm gonna show you how to do that if this is the case. So pick your background color, use this cream color, and you're gonna click, and now you can see what it looks like. Now I'm gonna hit Command T for free transform. If you're using Element, there's also a way you can do this. I'm not sure what the shortcut is. And all you have to do is drag your corners to the edge like this, and then hit OK. Once that's done, you're going to hit your eraser and go around and erase it. So now that's done. And the reason I use the other fade brush for this image is because I wanted it all around fade instead of just from the top to the bottom. So you can see right here that it covered the whole image all around it. This one is the last image that we're going to do. Hit a new layer. Hit OK. And then pick your background color. And again, I kind of want this area to match up here as well. So I want more of a fade right here. So I'm going to use the round one for this as well. Like this. I have my background color picked and now I just have to click it. And then use my eraser tool at 100% and go around it. like that. And you can see how it perfectly blended this whole area right here and now it all matches. Here's the before and after. Okay, I hope that answers some of your questions on how to use the fade brush and how easy it is to use. It's a great time saver when you're working with newborn images or really any image that you want to have either an all around fade or a top to bottom fade.